So I'd like to show you my fire kit that I put together. And you know me, I love to organize. So, but the real purpose of this is so I can get at things quickly. So I could try a challenge real quick, working really well for me. So I thought maybe you would be interested. So here we go. First thing I have is a granite tile left over from tiling a bathroom floor. Uh, this tile works great for putting it on the deck and practicing fire starting. So I keep that at the bottom. This is how I've organized my fire making supplies. Uh, in this way I can easily find things and I can try a fire challenge on a minute's notice. So I've really found this helpful. Before I did this I had everything thrown in a big box and I was like where's my ferro rod, where's this, where's that. Now I know where everything is. And right here is the core of my fire making kit. It's two cases, they're exactly the same, and they stack on top of each other so you can carry them around, which is nice. I hope you can see this. But everything is labeled so I can easily find what I need. I mean, here's candles, tinder bag, flint and steel, wax rounds, nine volt and steel wool, bird's nest, matches, birch bark, long lighters and pocket bell, fat wood, birch dust, really easy. In this box, I have various candles, a tinder bag from Four Directions Bushcraft, uh, stormproof matches and strikers, and these are little bird nest tinder bundles. I have steel wool and D battery. And these are little wax rounds that I got from Four Directions Bushcraft. Here I have flint and striker. And this is a pocket bellows. And I got this in a, a pocket box. And then these are nice long candle lighters and I got this idea to keep in my kit from Tara Farley and of course back here is some lovely fat wood and this is well it's like Maya dust except I make it with birch bark and this compartment is for birch bark and I have to fill it up I've used all I had so I have to go back out in the woods we always have plenty in the woods right around us so that's what's in this kit just slide those to the other one. And this bottom one, I have ferro rods, friends of lens, lighters, wax jute, homemade fire starters, Vaseline cotton balls, guitar picks, chapstick, wet fire, char cloth, fire kit, friction fire speed block, live fire, and miscellaneous fire starters. So if we open this up, you can see these back compartments, you can make whatever size you want. These are fixed up in front. So you see I have ferro rod stuff here. And I have a Fresno lens right here. And assorted Bic lighters jute twine and the waxed jute twine that I made. I'll show you a video on that. Uh, these are some homemade fire starters I made. Some cotton balls and Vaseline. Guitar picks, which these are real fun to light. Cheap dollar store chapstick. Wet fire. And I always put the expiration date on the back. This is 1220 because I just bought it and they last about five years. It's just some miscellaneous fire starters. And here I have three things of live fire. And this is my char cloth making kit. <laughs> it's pretty black and beat up. And over here I have my fire kit in the pouch. Yeah, let's see if I can get that. 
the frock tack maybe works really well and I have a lot of ranger bands in here and then this is something I got in the Apaka box and it is a friction fire speed block but to be honest I have not tried it yet so that's what's in this kit and this is just a container and I just keep natural materials in it. I have a bunch of, I have cattails and milkweed pods. Some more of my fairy dust. A little pouch that came in an apaca box. And this also came in a apaca box. This is Dragonfire. I hope you found this useful. This is Prepper Popori saying please subscribe and share the knowledge. And as always, thumbs up if you like this video. And thank you so much for watching.